Join us on an island hopping adventure in Bocas del Toro and a drive through the mountains to get back to Panama City. We're going to talk about what happened to us yesterday. We're going to meet a boat to take a tour of some of the other islands this morning. So they rerouted us to drive by the beach in this car, <laughs> which is now 4x4. Four four. Yeah, they're uh, working on the road, so their detour is the beach. And I guess we're doing it. <laughs> we get enough right now, so that's good. The tour we booked was in Bocas Town. So we left our Airbnb in the morning and drove back down to Bocas Town to meet our boat. The boat dock was on the back side of one of the fancier hotels in Bocas Town. It was very nice. They have a restaurant there. You could get coffee and breakfast if you wanted to. Once we got on the boat, it was time to head out. Our first destination this morning was going to be trying to find some dolphins. After seeing the dolphins, we headed over to an island where the guide said there were sloths, and we found some. After the sloths, it was time to head out to a reef and do some snorkeling. The water was amazingly clear, and the colors of this coral, varieties of fish, this was a great place to snorkel. This was a lot of fun. Only drawback is, it ended too soon. We just couldn't get over the variety of colors in this coral. Everything from blues, oranges, yellows, all the way through. It was just amazing. After the snorkeling, 
we headed over to a restaurant off the side of an island built on a pier. Then it was time to head over to another island for some beach time. The color of this water as we approached the island was amazing. Crystal clear and aqua blue. There are boat docks on the other side of the island, so we went around there to park the boat and get off, and then walk the path through the center of the island to get to the more secluded beaches. We've seen some really nice beaches, but this one was just amazing. Marisol found us a place to hang up our towels while we went for a swim. And then it was time to get in the water and enjoy this beautiful beach. This island was gorgeous. We could have stayed here for days. Unfortunately, eventually it was time to head back. We had one more stop to make on the way back. There's a lot of starfish right around this island, so the guides brought us here to check some out. The starfish here are huge. A lot of them are the size of a dinner plate. The guide said the population has been dropping over the years though. Unfortunately, most tourists don't know anything about starfish. These creatures are very sensitive. If you handle them, or especially if you take them out of the water at all, they die immediately. They can't be exposed to air. People want to pick them up and take pictures with them and things, but when they do that, they're actually killing the starfish. If you get the opportunity to go to a place like this, please be respectful of nature. Look at all the beauty, but don't disturb it. After a day visiting islands, we decided to go and get something to eat and have a drink at this restaurant on the beach real close to our Airbnb.
So we came down to get a couple of drinks and check out this local spot. What do you think? Very nice. Good. Good. When it gets close to sunset out here, the views are gorgeous. And this restaurant sets up a bonfire right on the beach. Unfortunately, the next morning we had to start our journey back to Panama City for our flight home. For us, that meant getting in line to get on the ferry. You want to give yourself plenty of time when you're trying to find your way around Bocastown. There are no street signs here, so it takes a little bit of exploration to figure out where you're going, like to find the line for the ferry this morning. Once you get all parked, you don't have to stay in the car. They have areas upstairs to sit, watch the views, and enjoy the ride. The trip between Bocas del Toro and Almirante takes about an hour and 40 minutes. So you have time to relax and enjoy the scenery. Once we got upstairs, it was time to grab some coffee. We left kind of early this morning, so we didn't have time to make coffee at the Airbnb before we headed out. After getting our coffee, we found a seat with a view for the trip back. So we're on the ferry going from Bocas del Toro back to Almirante so we can drive down to Santiago where we're going to stay tonight uh, and then we'll go catch our flight in Panama City tomorrow. We're going through the mountains again. So that's going to be very nice. Yeah, the scenery up there is beautiful. Um, so on the ferry, they've got a couple places you can sit. There's this little spot on the front end of the boat where we're sitting now because you get a little breeze here. Um, they have a good a little galley kitchen in the back and there's a seating area with tables and chairs and stuff back there if you want to order food. Um, we've had we a couple. Just got <laughs> two coffees. Yep, we've had a couple cups of coffee this morning. Uh, coffee here is very good, so got to have the Panamanian coffee when we can. Black coffee is free, and your coffee. Yeah, black coffee is free if you want it with milk, con leche, then that's 25 cents. Um, so, not an expensive cup of coffee at all. It's a very nice boat ride across here. The scenery is beautiful. Kind of show you where we're heading at the moment. Scenery for the rest of the park. Let's talk about what happened to us yesterday. So, we had booked a tour. Uh, you're one of the guys at uh, Salina Hotel, is where his desk was at. Our Airbnb host suggested him. Um, so, we had booked this tour to leave at 10 o'clock yesterday morning. Um, and we didn't have any trouble with that. It was really no, nice. No, it was very nice. Um, it was raining, so we couldn't take the tour, so he suggested to come back tomorrow. Which was yesterday. Uh -huh. And if it was raining again, he would give us our money back, no problem, everything was good. Yep. 
So he said to be there at 9.30, so we got there at 9.30. Um, he had showed us yesterday that the uh, place we would catch the boat was just a dock right at the back of the hotel. So we went out to that dock after we checked in. Um, they were actually holding a pair of headphones from Marisol that she left in the Airbnb. So they were very nice about that. We picked up the headphones, uh, went by the ATM, got some cash, went back to the boat got dock. The money. <laughs> Don't make that mistake, I did. I didn't want to take our passports with us, and the Airbnb doesn't have us uh, safe. Right. So I decided to leave the passport, but I left the money, and the uh, voucher that he gave us yeah. for the boat ride. Yeah. So we got back to the back where the you pick up the boats, where he told us to go yesterday. Um, the only drawback I saw uh, was kind of a little bit of a red flag yesterday. There were a lot of boats picking people up back there, but not very organized. So they didn't really have lists or anything like that. So the guy told us just go to the back, yeah, exactly. and you are gonna go in the back of the restaurant. You can have a drink or food is really nice, and they take dogs. Like there were dogs with their customers there, and really nice. And but there was no signage or somebody talking to people about the boat rides. Now, so we saw folks boarding uh, some of the boats like he showed us yesterday, uh, or the day before. So we asked him, went up and asked the guy that was boarding people if that was the right boat and gave him the name of the island we were going to, you know, Zapatillo was the main, that was the name of the tour that we picked. Uh, the guy had like three different ones you could choose from. And he said, yeah, that was it, and to get on the ship. And I boat. asked like three people. After we were on the boat for a, a while, we went out and looked at some dolphins, and that kind of thing. After we were on the boat for a while, had a conversation about bottled water, which kind of, you know, the guy that we booked it with has said a couple of bottles of water were included. Um, so we didn't pack on water. Right. In two per person. Per yeah, that's what he said. You know? Um, but then the tour guide on this boat was saying they had water available for sale if you wanted it, which started a conversation, asked, who'd you buy the tour from? So we had to pull up the name on the phone because the guy had given us his WhatsApp and everything when we bought the tour. Uh, ended up being this wasn't the tour we bought. Uh, when we, a little bit later on, the tour guide was asking us to get money to pay him for the tour, even though we had already bought one. Um, we explained to him that, you know, we asked before we got on this if it was the right tour. He told us this was the right one. Um, there wasn't any verification or anything like that. Marisol was able to get a hold of the fellow that we bought the tour from, and he told us not to give this guy any money, that they have a habit, it's not the first time they've done this, that they kind of poach guests off of his loading area and then want them to pay them. Uh, and he just said he would handle it. He was very nice about it. Just uh, don't worry about it. I'll handle it. Yeah. Just don't give them any money. But, you know, like we always tip. Yeah, we always tip. And, and in fairness, the guy did a great job on the tour. It was a great tour. We had a good time. Um, you just have to be careful and double check and make sure you're actually getting on the right tour because it's not like some other places. They're still working on their tourist industry and everything here, so it's not like you have signage that this is Eddie's tour or anything like that. They're, it's a little haphazard. So one thing we found out from our Airbnb host in Alvarante where we stayed the night before because we were going to try and catch the early ferry to have more time on the island. She said the early ferry is very crowded and you need to get in line like two hours early at least to get onto that ferry. Um, because all the commercial trucks with deliveries try and take the early ferry over to the island so they can catch the 130 ferry back and they don't have to spend the night on the island. So that means that most of the commercial traffic is on the 6 a.m. ferry going out to the island and then on the 130 ferry coming back from the island. So if you want to avoid most of the commercial traffic, 
to the later ferry going from Almirante to Bocas del Toro, and then to the earlier one that comes from Bocas back to Almirante. Okay, so we bought some banana muffins while we were waiting in line for the ferry this morning. Uh, got a bicycle riding up and down the line selling banana muffins. Uh, it's pretty typical that there's a line of vehicles here uh, that folks will come by and, you know, they have all kinds of different things to sell. Bring, bring some uh, food for the dogs, that, a lot of dogs, and some of them look sad. Yeah, there are a lot of dogs running around. Uh, some of them look like they're very well fed, some others not so much. Uh, they do appreciate a snack, so what we've been doing is like saving leftovers, uh, you know, leftover meat and such, and then uh, Finding a feed the stray dogs with, when we see them. As we approached Almirante, we saw the loading dock where they were loading up containers of Chiquita bananas when we were on our way out. No ship there today, though. I think we need a car wash. <laughs> yeah, I think we do. Once the boat got docked, it was time to get off and start our drive across Panama on our way back to Panama City. We're stopping at Santiago tonight because it's a pretty long drive if you're going from Almirante all the way to Panama City. We didn't want to do that all in one day. Stay with us as we start our drive through the mountains. Got that big butthole. And the big fancy bridge. What? Hola. Yes, hola, ¿qué tal? Um, sí. Capitán. Okay. Gracias. Gracias. Que te buenos días. Gracias. So we have 67 kilometers on this road, 11 before we get on to Route 10. Point. We barely get the gas station and there is a checkpoint. So we'll see how this works. Hola. Buenos días. He's gonna check the call. Same thing. Thank you. Good Gracias. So everything yeah. went well. The year has gone. They just checked your driver's license. Yeah, this guy, I think, had a little more experience. He looked at the tag in the windshield and then went to make sure the number matched the plate. Oh. This one's getting the ticket. Oh, no. Poor guy. Sorry. Okay, off we go. So the police checkpoints here, for the most part, we've not had any problem. We got a really young guy at the one um, that missed the registration sticker in the front originally. So he was thinking we didn't have valid registration, but he finally figured it out. 
but most of the time it's just you show them your driver's license and they check the registration and you just go on your way. Uh, as long as you're doing everything you're supposed to be doing, have seat belts on. They do require seat belts for front seat passengers. Uh, so make sure you have your seat belts on and your paperwork's in order before you leave the rental car agency. <laughs> so, because you will encounter police checkpoints if you're driving. It's not if, it's just when. I think we went through, what, six or seven of them already? Already, yeah. Yeah. Hey. Our way to the mountains. Want banana muffin? Mm. To me, they're good because I don't like very sweet bread. No, I like them. You do? But you really like sweet bread, so. No, these are really good. Okay. Buy the banana muffins. <laughs> yeah, we got these from a guy on a bicycle while we were waiting in line for the ferry this morning. What was it? $2 for four muffins? Mm hmm. So 50 cents a piece, basically. Driving along as high as the clouds. Sitio <laughs> Presa. Pretty lake. Very fine. Meet up. Because this one's military, I think. Or, no, it says National Police. Policía Nacional Puesto de Urnito. They went back to avoiding tolls. Hmm. That's weird. Hola. Hola, buena. Gracias, gracias. You just let us through. Hola. Hola, mi amor. Hola, ¿cómo estás? Bien. ¿Y tú? Bien, gracias. ¿Estás cansado? No. ¿Tú? No, pero yo no estoy manejando. So, today is the day we have to go home. Unfortunately, so we're heading for the airport. Panama has been a lot of fun. Yes. It was very beautiful country. So we kind of made it a point we wanted to see different parts of Panama and different scenery because the country is very diverse. So we started out in Casco Viejo, Panama City. Uh -oh. And then from there, went to Boquete in the mountains, which is next to the big bo inactive volcano up there. And from there, we went out to Bocas del Toro. The archipelagos. One of the, yeah, the islands in the Caribbean side. They're all very unique and very pretty. But hugely different. It's almost like taking three different vacations. Yes. <laughs> it felt like that. So one thing we mentioned before was if you're gonna see Panama, a really good way to do it is to rent a car so you can kind of go at your own pace and go where you want to go. The uh, only caution, don't speed and make sure you have all your paperwork in order. Uh, we started counting for curiosity yesterday when we left Focus del Toro. We started counting checkpoints. Yes. Um, right now it's like, what, 17? Yeah. 15, 17? So 
literal checkpoints where, well, make that 18. Mm -hmm. Literal checkpoints where you have to stop and show your papers and everything. I think we've passed nine of those. Um, and then about another eight or nine times now we've seen these motorcycles along the side of the road or having people stop. Um, Almost every little town. We are at the airport having some lunch si. before taking off. What do you think? I hope the food is good. Why not? Me too. So we just got this coffee. We got to shock it fast because we can go into an uh, airplane with coffee. So they just told us in the intercom that we have to not have any liquids because they have another check-in before you enter. Yeah, so apparently here in Panama we go through two security screenings. One when you come into the airport like everywhere else, and then you have another one um, at the gate. Mm -hmm. and you can't take any liquids out. Panama's diverse areas offer a spectrum of experiences. Casco Viejo in Panama City enchants with its colonial architecture and vibrant culture. Boquete, nestled in the highlands, invites tranquility amidst lush landscapes perfect for hiking and coffee exploration. Bocas del Toro's Caribbean charm boasts pristine beaches and island adventures, from lively Bocas Town to secluded caves. Each area promises unique encounters, whether exploring historic streets, embracing mountain serenity, or indulging in coastal bliss. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications.